Hello, so exactly a year ago, I made a video for you acknowledging when your dreams become a reality. And in my lifetime, there are many things that I have been able to accomplish. Yet, as human nature has it, we always have more dreams and more projects and different things that we want to do. And at times, we can become distracted by all these goals and aspirations that we have that we might neglect to acknowledge as I've said it to you time and time again what is currently working and what you have already achieved for example when I um, graduated from high school I wasn't the best student at the time and I had to attend after school and I had to do summer school just to be able to graduate from high school when I went off to college I was in college ready work on my college readiness, increase my reading, my writing, my math skills, and when I was able to finally go back to college as a non-traditional student, I graduated uh, top of my class in my major community psychology. I am now only two classes away from earning a master's degree, and I have a 4.0 because I'm able to study the subject matter that I'm most interested in. Currently in the community that I live in, I I mentioned to you before, when I moved here approximately almost 11 years ago, I really wanted to work with the Latino Hispanic population and that was not an opportunity that existed. And ever since my husband and I have been working independently since 2016, these are the types of contracts that I'm able to acquire and I'm able to, you know, fulfill this desire that I had so many years ago. I also yearned for a very long time to be able to travel, to have flexibility, to um, go to different places. Um, and I have that flexibility now. My husband and I know very well that we are very, very blessed. And we get to travel four, five, six times a year. I'm not exaggerating. And this is a huge blessing because we've worked very diligently and we've worked very hard to be able to live the life that we are currently living. So I just want to take this time to your brother and sister and pray for you because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are created in the image and likeness of the Lord God of heaven and earth and you were placed on this earth for his honor and glory and praise and for you to be able to share your gifts and talents for God's good, your good and for the good of others. And I know how easy and how difficult it is for us to fulfill our calling, for us to live in freedom and at peace, because we are dealing with so many other, you know, daily occurrences that at times attempt to rob us of our peace or take our mind off what truly and significantly matters the most. <laughs> so let's close our eyes and just thank the Lord God of heaven and earth for fashioning us in his image and likeness in our mother's womb, for giving us life, for consecrating us, for the gifts and talents that we do have, for all the blessings that we enjoy. And we just praise you, Lord, because everything that we have is thanks to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. My husband and I are only like literally less than, I'm not going to say the exact number, but our mortgage is like half, half paid off. And I know that we're going to get to the point where we're going to pay off our mortgage and we're going to get to the point where we're going to acquire other properties. And I'm going to be able to travel to all those wonderful places I've been wanting to travel to since I was a little girl. And I'm telling you right now, it is all thanks to the Lord because he is the one that gives us our health. He is the one that gives us our ability to be able to work and be creative and have opportunities and connections. So I want you to also have a blessed, wonderful life. Jesus loves you.